This original video is going to focus on rate of reaction and catalysts. First of all, we're going to deal with what catalysts are. Catalysts are substances which increase the rate of a chemical reaction. They could be solids, they could be in solution, but they increase the rate of a chemical reaction without themselves being used up or changed permanently across the course of that chemical reaction. We can kind of prove this by weighing the mass of the catalyst at the start of reaction, collecting it at the end of a reaction, filtering it out from the rest of the reaction mixture, washing it and reweighing it. It should weigh the same as at the start, which proves it hasn't been used up and hasn't been changed permanently across the course of that chemical reaction. So any substance which increases the rate of a chemical reaction and itself isn't changed permanently or used up can be defined as being a catalyst. How they work is a little bit different. You can't confuse this question with this question. This is a very different question. How do catalysts work? They work by providing an alternative reaction pathway. This new reaction pathway allows the reaction to proceed at a lowered activation energy. So the new reaction pathway, the alternative reaction pathway, itself has a lowered activation energy, and this allows the reaction to take place at that lowered activation energy using that pathway. This must come bolted onto that. Do not just say this point about lowered activation energy on its own in isolation. That is incorrect. It must come as part of a dual answer linking back to the alternative reaction pathway. You can visualize this using an energy profile diagram. It looks a bit like this, and we'll talk about this more in uh, energetics. If you want to know more about energy profile diagrams, and look at those original videos. Here we have reactants to products, a reaction taking place. This is an exothermic reaction because heat energy is being given out to surroundings. So energy is being given out to form the products to the surroundings, exothermic reaction. But there is a requirement, a minimum requirement to get this reaction to happen. That's what we call the activation energy. If you ever wanted to find activation energy, it is the minimum energy required for a reaction to occur or start. So here we have two possibilities, two different routes for a reaction to take. The first is an uncatalyzed reaction route with very high activation energy, quite a high energy requirement to get this reaction to begin and then move to completion. Here we have a catalyzed reaction, so the activation energy pathway for a catalyzed reaction. You can see the activation energy is lower for the catalyzed reaction than for the uncatalyzed reaction. So the catalyst is providing an alternative reaction pathway with a lowered activation energy, this much lower. Uh, and that's allowing the reaction to proceed and follow this new route at lowered activation energy and therefore that will cause an increase in the rate of reaction as a result. And essentially that's all we need to know about catalysts and how they work and also how to represent their functionality using an uh, energy profile diagram. I hope this helps and that basically concludes uh, all of the rate of reaction uh, tutorials.